Hi there, it's repair week. I'm in the BMW because I'm on the way to the body shop. I finally got the insurance information. Friday? Yeah, Friday? No, Saturday. Saturday. Hopefully we can get this taken care of quickly. It actually isn't that much. It's less than $2,000 according to them. We'll see what the BMW people say, but yeah, hopefully it won't take very long because I'm ready to get this done and get back to normal. What is normal? Nothing's normal. That is just so typical of what it's like driving around the city. Construction everywhere. So I dropped off the BMW and picked up a rental. And oh boy, it is delightful. Your refrigerator white Chevy Cruze. You're tingling, I know. It was this or a red Hyundai? Couldn't take the Hyundai. Chevy Cruze. Kind of surprised at how not horrible it is. The electronics are actually really good. I got the iPod working with just a USB cable and it paired up with my iPhone right away. Pretty good job, Chevrolet. You can even put the camera right there. Maybe that'll work. The worst thing about you is the color. Just don't get the refrigerator white. And a happy Tuesday to all of you. Just waiting for Rich to come down so we can get in the car and go. Yay. I feel like I do this a lot. Yay. What are you doing? So, this is Rich's first opportunity to see the Chevy refrigerator that we've got oh, to be driving. Oh, I forgot about that. It's so exciting. There's a picture in my mind that I'm sure matches exactly. This is a, this is a guess there. Ooh, that's going to be towed today. That car under the cover has been parked there illegally for months. The person who owns the spot doesn't know anything about this car. It just showed up. Not quite sure how that happens. I mean, who would be audacious enough just to park your car in a spot you don't own? Makes no sense. It smells like a rental car. Yeah. So on the outside it looks stupid because it's white and plain right. and boxy. But it's actually not too bad here on the inside. It looks fine to me. Ferrari FF. That's a rare sight. Just dropped off Rich, I'm headed to my office now. A small exciting thing. The weekly email from United with the last minute deals and it listed San Francisco to San Antonio. So I grabbed a ticket for this weekend. I'm gonna go see my parents. I'll fly out on Saturday, spend a couple nights down in San Antonio area. Timing's really good because today happens to be my mother's birthday. So I talked to her last night and she was all excited. Speaking of which, I should probably call her. Maybe I'll do that right now and say happy birthday. It's getting dark. Earlier and earlier. I don't like this feature. What happened today? Oh, good news. Got an email from the shop that they removed the bumper, checked it out. He said it's very minimal damage underneath. A couple of additional brackets have to be replaced. They've ordered those. Now projecting the work's going to be finished on Thursday. That's exciting. Hello, Sydney. How are you on this Wednesday? Not into it. Don't care. It's after 8 o'clock. I'm still waiting for it to come down. I expect it's going to be a whirlwind kind of a day. I've got the breakfast with my riders this morning. Again, a couple of appointments. And then I've got a kickoff meeting for a new project. The students are starting for a real client. And then my radio class is going to have its first day in the recording studio this afternoon. That's kind of fun. So I came home and got in my pajamas before it was even 8 p.m. Is that a sign that I'm really secure in a very satisfying marriage? Or I've just totally given up? It's Thursday morning, but it still seems like it's the middle of the night. It's just really dark out there. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe it's getting a little light. Still, it's depressing. It's Friday morning. I'm up before the alarm went off. That is a beautiful sight. First thing in the morning, I tell you. Do you agree with me, Sydney? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, not gonna say anything. Just drop off Rich. Time to go get my waffle. So it's Friday night. Technically Saturday morning because it's after midnight. Gotta get up in a few hours to go to the airport. I got a haircut today, by the way. I think it looks good. We had our usual Friday night thing. Matt McGill came over, and yeah, it's good. So bedtime. Saturday morning. Off for the airport.
Oh, what's that? New control tower? Down in the next section. Okay. Let's get this party started. Decent Bloody Mary in the club. That's my aircraft behind me, over my shoulder. So, we're ready to go. Hmm. I think I might have been lucky enough to get a road to myself and economy plus. On this little regional chat, that's better than first class, to tell you the truth. So it's Sunday, that chime you're hearing in the background was a clock just going off, marking 8 o'clock. I'm at my parents' house. It's the first time I've recorded all day because we were busy making food and stuff. My brother and his family came out, so that was nice. But yeah, it's 8 p.m. and both my parents are in bed already. Fun times. It's okay. I've got some schoolwork to catch up on, catch up with my classes, that sort of thing.